Welcome to Go Deeper, Wyndham Art Gallery's podcast channel, part of our Go Deeper program that provides an in-depth look at each of our exhibitions. Today, you are listening to an abridged recording of an interview between curator Dr. Megan Evans and artist Juani Lefray about his Wyndham Art Prize entry, Final Solution. This video work combines snippets of radio broadcasting with day-to-day domestic scenes in a subtle, powerful message. This piece was highly commended by the judges and was the recipient of the Local Emerging Art Prize, an acquisitive prize that aims to support local emerging talent and the Wyndham community. We hope you enjoy learning more about this work and that you'll tune in for future interviews with some of our other Wyndham Art Prize 2020 finalists. My name is Wani Lefraire, an artist. I make work on Kulin lands. I'm raised in New Zealand, Aotearoa, Congo, um, Democratic Republic of Congo, and that's a bit about me. Thank you. Well, I'm particularly um, pleased to be having this conversation with you because you've won the Local Emerging Art Prize. Oh my gosh, I'm like beyond elated. I did not expect that. (laughs) I appreciate that. Big congratulations, first of all. You were the winner of the main prize last year, so it's not often. In fact, it's very rare that people win two prizes in the same prize. I'm really, really proud and it just makes me feel good, especially like you said, it's <laughs> one time is hard enough, but twice <laughs> is incredible. So I'm thankful for that. Honestly, I think it's really as something beyond myself as an individual, but also a recognition of like emerging communities, um, especially within Wyndham and the capacity that we're able to not only make work, but contribute to the community here beyond just being um, contributors to like this growing community, but being like central parts of like what's going on, especially with the racialized ways, you know, Australia is made up and everything that's happened within like Wyndham itself from stuff to do with African communities to stuff to do with migrant refugees. I think it just feels really powerful to know that a person or people from those communities are able to make work that is valued on a caliber like it is within the Win the Mark Prize. And I think for me, that's a real big honor because I always feel like it's not just for me, but it's a reflection of like the greater community that I come from or that like I feel a part of. Maybe you could just talk a little bit about your work. I made that work in part collaboration with like another part of my family. And the last year, the way Australian politics kind of goes is like, you know, There are things that are said that are quite hurtful to my community, especially, or like the Muslim community in this sense, but also like the black Muslim community and like people that don't quite fit the so-called Australian standard. And I remember the first time I heard that speech and to think that like in 2019, which it was at the time, one of our own leaders would say something so blatantly vile and... I don't know, just like the way it was responded to or like who it affects and how we're, how it normalizes violence against our bodies. That really, that was really painful. And I just felt like I had to make a work to kind of reflect my reality within that context, I guess. What took you in the direction of being an artist? I think it was less a decision to become an artist, but more of I don't think I know any other way to be (laughs) that's not within expressing myself and reflecting my surroundings. And I think like how that comes out for me is what we class as art. And I feel like it's less me deciding to be an artist or more just like, I think this is the only way I kind of know how to be. Like, it's just always been an innate thing for me. I honestly can't say a starting period or a starting point or like when it clicked. I think it's just when I look back, And now that I understand art a little bit more, I think I've always kind of just done it. Is there anything else you want to say about that? I can't live believing society as I know it is always going to be this way. And I can't live even more not feeling like I can contribute in some way to help either reflect society back into itself or help be like a little grain of sand droplet, hopefully in a snowball effect of change.